Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a custom rule for Site Coalition Manager Segment Builder. In one of my previous tutorials we talked about Site Coalition Manager and different types of lists. One of them is a segmented list that allows you to filter contacts and create a list based on rule you've specified. And today we'll be creating a custom rule that will allow you to filter contacts and create a list based on a very specific requirements. In order to create a custom rule for Sidecore List Manager Segment Builder, we need to navigate to Sidecore System Settings Rules Definitions and Elements. Here we have here we have a number of predefined sections, and I'm going to find the Segment Builder section, and we will be adding a new rule to this section. To simply add a rule, we need to click insert condition or action we will be adding condition because we want to add a new rule i've already added one rule so let's go ahead and see the configuration of this rule so we have the text field and this is the text that will be displayed for content editors when they will be selecting this rule we have two parameters one is called compares to this is going to be a link and this will allow content editors to select whether they want to check if something is equal, is not equal, contains, these kind of things. And the value that we will pass from Sidecore to the class. The type field contains a full namespace and the class name. So this is a custom class and we just need to make sure that we will inherit from the correct base class. Because in Sidecore we have three types of rules. One rule you can use to personalize content. This type of rules will inherit from a specific base class. This rule will be used in the list manager to filter contacts. So we will be inheriting from a different base class. And there is also a third type of rules that you can use in engagement plans, but I will be covering this in the next tutorial. So I'm going to switch to the Visual Studio where I show you the full implementation of the country condition custom class. The country condition class inherits from typed queryable string operator condition and the T in this case is visitor rule context. So if we are creating a rule that we want to use in the list manager, we need to inherit from this base class. And the first thing we need to do, we need to override get result predicate and this function will return a lambda expression and the value that we will get from sidecore is a property that we inherited from the base class. We can simply check if the value is null and return false, otherwise we can return a result of function getCompare expression. This is a function that we inherited from the base class and we need to pass two parameters. We need to pass a lambda expression that will select the property and then the second parameter is a value that we want to compare it with. The getCompare expression will make sure that we will compare the property and the value using the operator that we've selected in Sidecore. So I'm going to switch back to Sidecore where I show you how to use this rule in the list manager. On the list manager dashboard we have three lists and I'm going to select the first one because this is a segmented list and rules only work with segmented lists that's why I'm going to select this one. If you would like to find out more about lists and how to create them you can find a link to the tutorial in the description. So I'm going to add a new rule to the segmentation section and you can click on the edit rule button to add a new rule. The PWE section shouldn't be displayed here because the rule where the previous page is, is a rule that will work only in the context of the page. So we can use it to personalize content, but we shouldn't be using this in the context of the list manager. So I need to go back to the content editor and remove this PWE section from this configuration. So as I've mentioned, you need to be very specific about rules because there are different types of rules and you don't want to display rule that will not work in the context that content editors are going to use it. So 
So we need to navigate to the segment builder section and we need to change the default configuration. So we need to simply remove PWE from the list of selected tags. We need to save this configuration. And now if we refresh this view, PWE section is no longer displayed. So let's go ahead and select our custom rule. And the compress tooling gives you a few options. You can check if a property and value is equal, if it's not equal, if contains. There are a few options that you can choose from. And then we have a specific, which is a text field, where we will be passing our variable from Sidecar to our class. The number in brackets will indicate how many contacts have been selected by this rule. You will also see number of contacts that have been selected by this rule next to the rule. You may still see total number of contacts in the table down below, but to apply all these rules, you can simply save this configuration and then Sidecore will refresh this page. In this tutorial, we've created a custom rule for Sidecore List Manager Segment Builder, and this rule will be available for content editors when they will be adding segments to segmented lists. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.